Imagine automatic machines pulling out the biggest onions out of the land in a line and transferring them into trucks. This is the site where tens of such machines work simultaneously on hundreds of hectares. Everything is done automatically, using heavy agricultural machines and vehicles. You see onions in various forms, in markets, in mesh bags, strings, chopped or diced and frozen, but nobody knows how they make their way from farms. So, how is every step done? How are onions actually cultivated, harvested, and processed to make their way to supermarkets? Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. The Mechanicals brings you engineering marvels and little-known farming techniques that are revolutionizing the world in one way or the other. If you are new to the channel but enjoy learning about how technology and innovation are shaping the world's future, you will love to watch the videos we post on this channel. In this video, we will tell you how millions of the biggest onions are cultivated and harvested on large-scale farms and processed in gigantic factories. Let's get First comes the cultivation process. In the initial phase of land preparation, cutting-edge tractors equipped with plows perform the task of breaking the soil. At the same time, harrows refine the seedbed by leveling the surface, eliminating weeds, and improving the soil structure to facilitate optimal root development. Moving on to the planting stage, farmers meticulously choose onion varieties suitable for their specific region and the prevailing market demand. However, before planting, onion seeds undergo treatments like priming or coating to improve germination rates and ward off diseases. Advanced technologies facilitate precise seed treatments, optimizing the performance of each seed. After this, soil analysis is conducted to customize the seedbed for optimal germination. Soil sensors and mapping technologies identify soil texture and fertility variations, enabling farmers to adjust seedbed conditions accordingly. Once this is done, cutting-edge precision planting equipment is used, often featuring pneumatic seed meters. These meters ensure precise seed placement at the desired spacing and depth, promoting uniform germination and subsequent crop development. Variable rate technology is used to adapt seeding rates based on specific field conditions. Leveraging data from soil sensors and historical performance, VRT optimizes seed distribution, adjusting to variations in soil fertility, and ensuring efficient resource utilization. During planting, GPS technology for GPS-guided planting is used, ensuring accurate positioning and guidance. This results in straight and evenly spaced rows, minimizing overlaps and gaps during planting. GPS-guided planting enhances overall efficiency, reducing resource wastage. At the same time, real-time monitoring systems provide crucial data on seed distribution, planting depth, and soil conditions, enabling farmers to make on-the-go adjustments and optimize the planting operation. Some modern planters use automated row shutoff systems using GPS technology to identify areas where seeds have already been planted. This prevents double planting in the same rows, minimizing seed wastage and enhancing overall efficiency. Following seed planting, additional operations like rolling or packing the soil are performed to ensure good seed-to-soil contact, aiding in seed germination and early seedling establishment. During the whole process, data is collected, which includes seed distribution and soil conditions. This empowers farmers to make informed decisions for subsequent stages of crop management, contributing to a more precise and efficient farming operation. Once planting is done, the fields are watered using an irrigation system. This includes drip irrigation systems that deliver water directly to the base of plants, minimizing water contact with foliage and reducing the risk of diseases. Furthermore, modern farms use soil moisture sensors to monitor soil moisture levels, enabling precise irrigation scheduling and efficient water conservation. Nutrient management is ensured, which involves soil testing and the use of spreaders or injectors for the precise application of fertilizers. Weed control is achieved through herbicide applicators or mechanical cultivators, while some farms opt for cover crops or mulching to suppress weed growth. After this, 
the onion crop is closely monitored using various sensors to track factors such as soil temperature, humidity, and nutrient levels. This data aids in decision-making for irrigation, fertilization, and disease control. Sensors not only help in knowing the real-time condition of the standing crop, but also help in automated systems for tasks like irrigation, enabling remote monitoring and control. Then comes the harvesting phase. But before the actual harvesting begins, farmers use monitoring systems to assess the condition of the onion crop. This involves tracking factors such as onion size, maturity, and overall health to decide whether the crop should be harvested or not. Hence, farms often deploy sensors to gather data on soil conditions. Ensuring Optimal Harvesting Conditions Before we continue further, tell us. Are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos where we unveil breathtaking engineering and farming techniques. Let's continue now. Once the sensors tell that the crop is ready, the harvesting phase is behind. You should know that the core of large-scale onion harvesting heavily relies on mechanical harvesters. These machines are equipped with rotating blades and adjustable height settings, specifically designed to lift and cut the onions, effectively separating them from the roots and soil. The adjustable height settings on these mechanical harvesters play a crucial role, enabling farmers to accommodate various onion varieties and adapt to diverse soil conditions. This flexibility ensures that the machinery can efficiently harvest onions of different sizes without causing damage. Following the mechanical harvesting phase, windrowers come into play. These machines assist in organizing the harvested onions into rows, simplifying the subsequent curing process. The organized rows contribute to making the onions easier to handle and transport for further processing. Once harvested, onions undergo a curing process, typically by leaving them in the field to dry. This process allows the outer layers of the onions to cure, enhancing their storage life. Some farms speed up this curing process by using forced air drying systems. After the curing process is complete, the onions are ready for storage. Mechanical conveyors and loading equipment are used to streamline the movement of onions from the fields to distribution centers. These systems are designed with efficiency in mind, reducing the need for manual labor and expediting the transportation process. Modern farms often have well-equipped storage facilities with controlled temperature and humidity. Ventilated warehouses play a crucial role in maintaining the quality of the onions, ultimately extending their shelf life. However, onions do not stay here for longer and are transported to factories. Then starts the processing phase. Following harvest and curing, onions are moved from fields to processing facilities using modern transportation methods like climate-controlled trucks to ensure their optimal condition upon arrival. At the processing facility, the onions undergo an initial inspection and sorting process. This phase includes removing damaged or defective onions, often facilitated by automated sorting systems, categorizing onions based on size, weight, and quality, ensuring consistency in the final product. Following this, the onions go through a cleaning process to eliminate dirt and outer layers. Depending on the final product specifications, they may undergo peeling, a step streamlined by the use of automated equipment to maintain hygiene. Once cleaned and peeled, the onions may be cut or sliced according to the desired end product. Automated cutting machines ensure precision and uniformity in the size and shape of the onion pieces which is particularly crucial for products like diced onions or onion rings. Blanching follows, involving a brief immersion of the onions in boiling water or steam. This multi-purpose step preserves color, texture, and flavor, while also reducing microbial load, contributing to the extended shelf life of the processed onions. In some cases, processed onions may undergo drying or dehydration, involving moisture removal to enhance shelf life and facilitate easier storage. Dehydrated onions find common use in various food products. 
Moving on to packaging, automated packaging lines efficiently pack the processed onions into bags, jars, or other containers. The packaging is designed to shield the product from external factors and maintain its quality during subsequent storage and transportation. Quality control measures are rigorously implemented throughout the processing stage. Continuous monitoring and inspection ensure that the processed onions meet industry standards and specifications, with any deviations from quality parameters promptly addressed. Finally, the packaged and processed onions find their way to appropriate warehouse facilities for storage. These facilities maintain controlled temperature and humidity levels to preserve the quality of the final product. The processed onions wholesalers, or directly to consumers, completing the processing stage. Onions come in a range of forms at supermarkets, catering to the diverse needs and preferences of consumers. Whole onions. allowing shoppers to purchase them individually or in bulk, based on their cooking or storage requirements. For added convenience, some supermarkets offer pre-peeled onions, saving time in the kitchen. Onion sets or bulbs, which are small and immature onions sold for planting and home cultivation, can often be found in the gardening sections. Supermarkets also stock pre-chopped or diced onions in fresh produce or refrigerated sections providing a convenient option for those looking to streamline meal preparation. Frozen chopped or sliced onions, available in the freezer section, offer a practical solution for individuals seeking a longer shelf life or those who want onions readily available without frequent trips to the store. Dehydrated or dried onions, typically in the form of flakes, granules, or powder, can be located in the spice or dried goods aisle, serving as a suitable choice for long-term storage. Supermarkets also carry various onion-flavored products like chips, snacks, or seasonings, providing diverse ways for consumers to savor the taste of onions. These versatile onion forms cater to consumer preferences, offering choices for convenience, storage, and various culinary applications. But behind every form of onion, a story starts on the farms. Have you ever seen the biggest onion farms where they are harvested on a massive scale? Would you like to have a guided tour of onion farms where farmers use modern technology and enjoy every process of onion harvesting? In the comment section right below, let us know your thoughts on whether you would pick onions from small or large scale farms. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get more videos on technological feats and farming advancements that are changing the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.